Welcome to Hancock's VMware Half Hour. And welcome back to another Hancock's VMware Half Hour. Certainly going to be less than 30 minutes this one. So don't worry too much. Okay, so if you've been following this new micro mini series, um, I actually basically promised uh, that looking back at the search feedback, um, some of the viewers out there wanted to know how to install Linux on VMware Workstation Pro. In part one, um, I showed you how to install Ubuntu Linux 24.04 LTS. Um, so <clears throat> as promised in this video today, um, we're going to have a little look at installing Fedora. Uh, so I'm going to go back to my um, workstation which is still running uh, Ubuntu 24.04 LTS and I'm going to leave that running uh, there's no reason for me to um, close that uh, this um, particular workstation has enough resources to cope with a few virtual machines so I'm going to do exactly the same thing really that I did in um, part one uh, so I'm going to basically select file uh, new virtual machine um, I'm going to select typical recommended. Um, I'm going to select, I will install the operating system later um, because I said before that I'm not quite sure that the easy installation mechanism is working correctly. So I'm going to go next. I'm going to install uh, Linux and I'm going to have a little look to see whether or not that I've actually basically got Fedora in the list. And I have uh, Fedora 64 bit. Uh, followed by next. Uh, I'm going to browse to my um, D drive, uh, which is another physical NVMe disk. And I'm going to choose my VM folder. And I'm going to give it a name. Um, Fedora. I'm going to get rid of the 64 bit because I know that it's 64 bit. And I'm going to delete that there. Fedora. Followed by next. Uh, and again, a uh, little tip, store the virtual disk as a single disk, uh, store the virtual disk as a single file, uh, because the performance is a little bit faster than if you actually split it into multiple files. And I don't really see any reason at all on a four terabyte NVMe, uh, why I need to split that virtual disk into multiple files. I'm not going to copy it, uh, or move it followed by next. I'm going to customize the hardware at this point. Because what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to browse to our download folder and I'm going to basically select the Fedora Workstation Live uh, 41 1.4. So I'm going to click OK there and I'm going to click close and I'm going to click finish. So just going to wait for that to spin up. Uh, now, at this point, if I wanted to change anything, and I'm probably going to. Um, I'm going to give it a little bit more memory. Um, so I'm going to give this one. Uh, so I'm going to do, I'm going to type in 4096. I'm going to give it four gigs and I'm going to give it um, two cores. Uh, OK. And of course, the, the benefit, the real benefit that we have with virtualization is that we can go back to any of these settings um, and we can change them. Uh, later on, providing machines powered off, we can change the memory, we can change the processors, we can increase the size of the disk, etc. Uh, so this is one of the real benefits that uh, we can do with virtual machines. So I'm going to click power on. I'm going to ignore that message that we've got there for the moment about uh, server side uh, issues. And I'm going to wait for. So if I just click the mouse cursor to get focus there. And I'm going to basically say start Fedora Workstation Live. And that's going to start booting um, from uh, the CD-ROM. But while that's doing that, I'm just going to basically going to get another espresso hit. Some people say that I do drink too much of this stuff. But anyway, so I'm going to wait for that to boot. Uh, I'm not going to worry about this uh, message down the bottom here that's talking about uh, install Fedora. So I'm going to just say, um, get that out of the way. Okay. So 
Uh, I'm going to click to, so I've got focus in the virtual machine and I'm going to say install Fedora and I'm going to follow the prompts. Um, I'm not going to do um, anything specifically um, different here. So for me, um, I was going to say for me English, but something's obviously jumped and let's just I have no idea that's just there we go English United Kingdom that was lucky followed by continue um, so English UK time and date is automatically been selected so it's Europe London uh, automatic petitioning has been uh, selected for us It's telling me no disks were selected. Select. Done. Okay. Followed by begin installation. And that's it. Um, it's going to ask us at some point uh, for some uh, usernames so we can log on. Uh, but at this moment in time, uh, we can just sit back and watch the installation get installed to that virtual machine disk so while that's happening i'm going to go off and get um, another drink to wet my whistle here i'll speed this up in post so um so you don't have to watch it and um i will be back um shortly And I'm back. <clears throat> okay, so uh, Fedora has now successfully installed and ready for you to do. Go ahead and reboot to start. So click finish installation. Hopefully it will. Restart, restart. And I'm just going to check that we've removed the so I'm going to remove the ISOs and I'm going to override the lock. Okay, so welcome to Fedora Linux 41. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to a bit OCD, so I'm just going to rename Fedora Linux 41. Okay, so start setup. Uh, location services, automatic problem reporting. Yes, why not? Enable third party repositories. Full name. Yeah, this is a little bit different to Ubuntu, of course, because that actually basically had us create our user ID uh, and name uh, as part of the installation, followed by next. So I'm going to specify a super secure password that hopefully I can remember. Followed by next, start using Fedora Linux. I want to skip that. I don't want to do the tour. 
Okay, so probably just missed it there because it did, did actually pop up and say uh, about uh, updates uh, being installed. Um, so if we run terminal, um, we can do a similar thing uh, to um, apply updates. We can do a sudo dnf update. specify the password and this will also do exactly the same thing that what we did in Ubuntu when we did an apt get updates uh, in Fedora we use dnf um, update updates and I'm going to specify uh, yes and that's now going to go off and that's got 755 packages uh i think it said it was four gig uh that it needed to download um and apply and the keen-eyed amongst you will notice that since we've now got vmware open tools installed it has now correctly uh, updated the time um, because of course they originally I think it was actually saying it was 1053 uh, so now this is actually basically verifying uh, and installing the packages so I'm going to wait for that to complete and I'll come back and uh, I'll summarize uh, when that has uh, finished Okay, that's completed. So finally, just for belts and braces, I'm just going to restart. Just to check that I've not actually basically broken my Fedora Linux 41 installation. And we'll wait for that to boot up. Um, so that's it in part two um, of how we install Fedora Linux 41 on VMware Workstation Pro 17.6. That looks a bit ominous, doesn't it? Maybe something has broken. Let's just check. It's our Ubuntu. Okay. I think it's just loading. Yep, there you go. It's just uh, just taking its time uh, to display the logon. So we'll just log in with our username and our password. And hopefully we should be presented with that uh, lovely balloon type. Oh, it is balloons. Uh, and I can see balloon there in the background and a balloon there. I thought there were balloons here. Um, blow up balloons, but not actually real balloons. Okay, so that's it for this particular video uh come back in part three um when i show you how to install uh, centos stream um, on vmware workstation pro 17.6 so once again thanks for watching um don't forget if you like it subscribe thumbs up if you don't like it then thumbs down uh, and again if you do have any questions about this particular uh, video then please drop a comment in the description and i will certainly most definitely get back to you so once again thanks so much and uh and goodbye